Alrighty guys, so I needed a dress for my friend's wedding. This is at Nordstrom Rack and it's a champagne colored dress. I did not like the cut on the side. It made my hips look bigger than they are. And then also it did not hold me in in the top. And then, so here's the next dress. I absolutely love this dress, but it was about $120. So it has like ribbing in the front to keep the sweetheart neckline up. Had to do a little flex. Um, but I really love this dress. I still would have needed to tape if I ended up buying this one, but I absolutely loved it. It was very expensive material and I thought it looked really cute. And I love this one, but it just wasn't in my budget for the night. Then I went over to Ross and this dress was just like not flattering. Um, the material felt like felt and the cup pads in the front were like pokey. So it made you look like your nipples were hard when they weren't. It was just the material. So that was a no go for me on this one. This dress is what I ended up wearing to the wedding. And um, it's a blue sparkly halter neck dress with a slit in the side. When you turn around, there's a little bow that's in the back. It's really cute. It's a long piece of like fabric material and like a keyhole back. And it's really cute. The dress is really comfy and this was only $30. So this was our contender. Okay guys, so this next dress was like a silky type of gold dress. It looks like gold foil almost. There was a slit in the side of it and kind of like a ruffled, not ruffled, like a bunched neckline and it was really cute although it was too big on me so i didn't end up choosing this one and then this is at my friend's wedding and i ended up getting the blue dress because i felt like it was the most flattering although i did like that sweetheart neck gown the blue one um i really liked it but that was a hundred dollars and i wasn't about to spend a hundred dollars for it so i ended up just getting this blue dress at ross and it was thirty dollars and we had the best time and this is at Cars and Coffee the next day. Wow, look at this really cool Jeep. It's got some big tires. You can see the enthusiasm from the driver. <laughs> He's just thrilled. I'm thrilled. He's just thrilled. Alrighty guys, you're currently looking at my Jeep and then we went around the parking lot and we were looking at all the different cars. It was really hot that day. I don't know if you guys have watched Tyus's car video, but I am planning on getting a Supra here in the next couple of years. So I was really hoping to see the one that is mint green or mint blue that drives around Reno all the time. But unfortunately, he wasn't here when we were there. So instead, we were just walking around looking at all the cars. I was looking for the Supra, but Tyus was looking at all the cars. Okay guys, Tyson's birthday was next Happy and here's a clip of that. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday dear baby. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Woo! Thank you guys. The churros that you're looking for? No. Oh, oh, so you really were looking for churros for your client? No. Yeah. I don't know if that was just a clever way of like. Happy birthday! Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Hi, everyone. Hello. Tyus and I are hosting a little 4x4 event. Well, mainly Tyus. I'm just along for the ride. But we are currently in the Jeep right now, as you guys can see, and we have our friend in front of us. That's Bravo. And then we have other Mopars behind us. And we are going off-roading. Yay. Alrighty guys, we got a puddle, let's go! Oh, oh shit! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
I got a tree. I got a tree. <laughs> this is where we got our Christmas bush. A Christmas bush. <laughs> yeah, I think we went down that way. We gotta scope out the new, the Christmas trees for next year. <laughs> this year. This year, I mean. We'll put a little tag on it that says reserved. Oh, yes. The ties from Judge will not cut the tree. McMuckinstern. McMuckinstern. <laughs> Did you say that? Mick, yeah. McMuckinstern. That's the name of our, uh, our McDonald's sandwich. <laughs> See the wild horses? And there's a baby right there. Oh, a little baby pony. Kind of shaky. They're so cute. Oh, there's four. Four, four. and a baby. Hmm. Cute piece. Sir? Sir, that's not your kennel. <laughs> she got a squeaky toy. <laughs> Bumps, you don't. Why are you in there? Aye, aye, aye. So we went camping at Lahontan the weekend after we got back from vacation. So I thought I would include this footage. But here Mika. is our friend's dog named Mika. Hi, She's really cute and friendly. And here is us camping at Lahontan. Here's the trailer. Of course, I've shown uh, videos of the trailer before, but it's just so cute. So how could I not show it? And the view that night that I was recording was like absolutely beautiful. It was so hot that day, but it was absolutely beautiful. So me and Mika are kind of just walking around, filming, enjoying the scenery. If you guys can see them but there's just a big circle of sea chickens is what we call them us and our friends i think they're like some type of pelican though okay guys i'm sorry i did not record an intro and an outro but i hope you enjoyed this vlog we had a couple of clips that i need to just throw together because I feel like I needed to update you from the past couple of weeks but the next couple of vlogs will be on our Mexico trip but I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please don't forget to like it as that helps with the algorithm and don't forget to subscribe and become a little part of the family we are on our journey to 1,000 subscribers and I'm appreciative to all of you I hope you guys have the best day bye